Welcome back to the shop. This week we are working on a epoxy double river walnut table. Right now you can see Jake and Alan are getting ready to make some cuts. Later on we're going to get a sneak peek of our resin security board class with Lisa who traveled all the way from Norway. But anyways, let's get on with the video. Well, I don't want to cut it an inch shorter like I did last time. Measure twice, cut once. Um, what my grandmother used to always say. I measure like six times and cut twelve. Get that. Two hours later. Turn the fan off, it's too loud for you. It's kind of like when it's too loud. We're at that age now where we turn the stereo down so we can see better when we try. Next up we got the guys doing a little cleanup on the edge using a sander and an air hose. When using the sander though you want to make sure you're not going too high in grit. We like to use some 60, 80 grit and that seems to work pretty well. You get too high and the epoxy just doesn't get as good as a bond to the wood. After that it's time to go ahead and bring the wood into the epoxy pour room where we got the mold all set up and ready to go. And then it's time to go ahead and get some quick set resin on the edges just to make sure that we're not going to have any air bleeding up through into the resin because the worst thing that can happen to you is when you walk back in the next day and you got a lot of uh, foam sticking up on top. Doing that step is a great help to stop that from happening but you do also got to be careful that you pour your epoxy in the right amount of time because once that stuff hardens up all the way you got to scuff it up real good to get a mechanical bond and sometimes it doesn't exactly do uh, as good of a job as if you poured it while it was still a little bit gummy on the side. Also, as your friendly reminder that wood floats, don't forget to clamp it down, grab a friend, grab those bars, and just finger tight. You don't want to do it too much because then the resin's going to crack on you. Come back. 
And now's a good time to go ahead and get those bubbles pop, fill up any residual cracks and holes, and just make sure that you got enough resin out there. Jumping over to this project, we got the guys going and putting on a faux live edge on one side and the front edge because this is slotting into a corner. We like to use a combination of a jigsaw, rotary sander, and palm sander to get the look that we're going after. Seems to do a pretty good job at it. Keep it down, but 
69's just past that. 